Well, good evening, everybody. This is WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. I hope y'all having a good evening so far. Big difference from what we saw yesterday. Yesterday, we saw temperatures that are in the 70s. Now we're seeing temperatures that struggle to be a struggle to get out of the teens. And with that, we had a flash freeze gear. That's what temperatures drop rapidly as we go through a short period of time. And any liquids that's on the ground is going to instantly freeze. And that was the case here. Also on top of that, we had wind gusts. Wind gusts are over 20 to 30 miles an hour, with gusts as high as 50 miles an hour, which means we have a wind advisory that's still into effect until probably for the next couple of minutes. But I'm expecting this to even continue as we go through tomorrow, as the winds will not die down anytime soon as we go through tomorrow as well. So keep that in mind. It's going to be cold and it's going to be windy. And then we're going to see some possible lake effect snow due to the winds coming out of the northwest off the lake, off of Lake Michigan. But guys, if you like the warmer temperatures, we are going to see warmer temperatures make its return back into the area on Friday, even into this week. I'll show you that a little bit later on in the forecast. But I know it's hard to believe, but at 3.04 a.m., it was 41 degrees outside, guys, 41. I mean, I don't sound like a warm temperature, but it was much warmer than it is right now. And that's when the storms came through. And once that came, the temperatures took a dive from there. This is why this was technically our high temperature today, 41 degrees. So yes, a big temperature difference from what we saw 24 hours ago. 50 degrees colder in Rider C. Yes, 50, 50 degrees colder. 47 in Mile, 45 in West Branch, 34 in Alpena. At one point, it was over 50 in Alpena. So this is real cold air that we saw. That's why this is called a flash freeze. It happened in such a short period of time where the temperatures dropped from the 70s all the way down to where we are right now, the teens. And we're going to continue to be like that even for your daily or Thursday. And it's going to continue to be windy. So with the winds, it's going to make it feel much colder outside. So yes, 16, and then we warm up to 28 and then to 25 degrees. But we do warm up starting on Friday. We're going to be back into the 50s so on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Then well back into the 60s as we go through your Monday. We could possibly break records once again. And according to the temperature outlook, well, we're going to be well above average when it comes to our temperatures. But you notice, there's some colder air that's out to our western parts of the Pacific and the Rockies that's going to eventually head in our direction going later on, maybe in the next week or two, where we're going to start to see temperatures come right back down to reality just a little bit. But winds are continuing to be a factor. This is why it feels so much colder than the actual air temperature right now. Our winds are coming out of the northwest, and they're coming out at 10 to 15, close to 20 miles an hour at times right now was creating a windshield. Now look at the wind, uh, the winds, uh, actual force of wind. 33 mile an hour wind gusts in Alpena right now. 28 in Harrisville, 28 in Tawas. At times we saw wind gusts that were over 40, even close to 50 miles an hour in some spots. And the winds are gonna continue to be like that. But the difference, look at this, the wind direction. That's gonna make all the difference in our temperatures. Once the warm front comes through the area on our, a Friday, our winds turn around to the southwest, and we're gonna be bringing in warmer air from the south that's going to bring us warmer temperatures at that. If you like spring, just get ready because we're going right back into another fall spring territory. But right now, if you factor in those winds, this is unbelievable for where we were yesterday at this time. I was in a complete shock to see this. We're only at three degrees. It feels like it's three degrees right now in Onaway. Four in West Branch. It feels like five in Alpena. That's how cold it feels right now if you're outside. It's a slap in the face compared to what we saw yesterday. So if you're going outside, you gotta make sure you bundle up because it is very, very cold. But as a, as a result of that, we're seeing lake effect snow that's coming, that's pretty much off the north, uh, off of Lake Michigan, but it's far enough in that it could bring us some lake effect snow showers as well. And going to the next couple of days before we begin to warm up once again, on uh, just in time for our weekend. And yes, we will see a little bit of snow in the forecast for tonight, but after that, we should see too much more in the way of snow showers. Tonight, we can see a few flurries early. Then it's gonna be partly cloudy, but it's gonna continue to be windy. So bundle up if you're going outside. No hats, you better have earmuffs on as well. Low temperature is gonna be about 13 in Roger City, and 15 in Alpena, 15 in Oscola, 16 in Tawas, 12 in Onaway. With the windshield, it's going to feel like we're in the teen, uh, the single digits and sub-zero values. Tomorrow, well, not much better than what we saw today. 
Only 20s for highs, low 30s if you go along the coastline. 10 to 15 mile an hour wind gusts with gusts as high as 30 miles an hour, creating a windshield of, in the teens. So, like I just said, bundle up. But we do rebound big time as we go through your day on your Friday. 26 degree difference. Yes, 26 degree difference between tomorrow and Friday. 59 on your Saturday. And then look at this, 60 on Sunday, 66. 66 degrees. You don't see me of all uh, mentioning these type of temperatures very often in the early parts of March or late February, but this is what's going to happen. 66 degrees for your Monday, but we will have some rain chances in the forecast. 54 for your Tuesday and 41 on a Wednesday as it will cool down just a little bit as we go through the middle part of next week. Well, this has been WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. We hope you all have a good evening and stay warm.